Hello YouTube, this is Don from Data Be Creative and I am here with week two, um, the second Sunday of the month, for the um, Demolish That Paper Pad with Port Spice. So we are doing a monthly collab for the month of August and we have to kill a paper pad, whatever size paper pad we want. And I have a link below for the video that I chose, I mean the, the unboxing of what I wanted to use for this video series and it is the Chamel Glitter Girl Paper Line and also um, this ephemera pack. We can use additional ephemera and stuff like that but we have to kill at least one. So I decided to make a tag flip. Now I use my um, framelits by Stephanie Bernard die set, seven piece die set um, to make mine. Let me back up. Also we're going to be posting every Sunday for the month of August at 3 p.m. So it's about, I think, eight of us, seven or eight of us um, ladies that will be doing this. So check out all of our channels and hopefully we inspire you to use one of your paper pads. Um, just hashtag um, Jamie on Port Spices page and let her know if you don't want or, you know, put it in anybody's link. Um, but I will also have in my description box all of the ladies that are in the collab and the de demolition gang, <laughs> all the gals, so um, you can see uh, what everybody's doing and how they're killing the paper pad. Everybody's got a different path to how they want to kill it, different um, paper pads and different things like that and different reasons um, and processing of how they want to do it. I'm traveling, so nobody's trying to kill a 12 by 12 because I'm it's easier for me. Or I'm just more familiar with 12 by 12s and I'm 6 by 6 even though you would think 6 by 6 is easier. Um, but I did this because I definitely wanted to be able to finish it because um, I'm traveling a lot in the month of August, vacation and this stuff, so um, I will not be crafting. So I'm trying to get a lot of my videos done before I leave. So I made a fly tip. Fly. A flag flip, not tip. Um, but I used the largest die in here, which is um, two and seven eighths by five and a half. And what I did was I used this, I can cut it two per slice per sheet of paper. So this only came to be six pieces of paper because it's only six tags. But um, let me take off this little bit of little fibers and ribbons that came from my stash, which they came from like the Dollar Tree or or Michaels. Or AS, this one came from AC Moore's. These fibers from the Dollar Tree and the ribbon from um, most of the ribbon from the Dollar Tree I think one from Michaels. But anyway, um, what I did was I made both sides of the tag covered and um, I will show you so it's easier to do it this way. So on the first one I used some of the ephemera pack, some of the cut aparts from the paper because the paper had three pages of cut aparts and so I used some of the cut aparts, some of the ephemera I hole punched also as well with my um, We Are Memory Keepers reinforcer punch so all of the tags have been reinforced. Um, and I have this enamel, which is from my, um, I just moved it, my BB Craft enamel dots, which I've um, shown that in a couple of my projects, which I really love. These ephemera, uh, the wood veneers, came from Tuesday morning, but I don't remember which brand because there's a mixture of several different ones in here. But it was some word dyes, and that says, remember, my R got a little cracked, but I still glue it down. That's a punch in the background of some dualies, and so what I did, and that's, she came with the fiber pack. I'm ready to cut the light out. And then on the back side, I just wrapped the dolly around to the other side. Um, that's a Martha Stewart punch, I had some bling, some gold um, thread, one of the word cut aparts. Um, perfect is a wood veneer. I had this, was um, I was blessed by Lady Cree here on the YT with, um, I dropped everything on the floor because I have so many punches that are used in this collection but she blessed me with this one by Leah Griffin the um, envelope punch so I made that little teeny miniature punch envelope right there and I put one of the little cut aparts from the piece of paper there that's one of my little birdie flowers that just recently hauled from Tuesday morning again some cut aparts that punch right there so I used about 30 different punches and they all sitting right here it's too much to show you all <laughs> but I just point them out um, and who they were by Another paper piece uh, cut apart, some of the more um, enamel dots, the bling, this holographic piece came from the ephemera pack. This is a Fisker's Punch 
and the doily and then on this side again um, ephemera cut apart some bling um, that's another Fiskars um, punch there and then this was um, ephemera ephemera and my BB craft um, enamel dots gold doily here and again reinforced all of my holes and then that's one of the holographic ones there and this one says make your dreams real in case you can't see that I think you can um, that's another one of my punches and that one is by I think this whiskers too yeah cuz it's got the orange dot on it um, that's the Fiskars one that's a Fiskars heart as well and I just put a number dot on that bling and these doilies I got all from Michaels and this gold one actually got from the food section in Michaels, the baking section. Um, that tag came from the ephemera. That diamond is a Fiskars punch. That, um, what was that? It's a Teresa Collins punch, enamel dots. Again, that little tiny envelope, one of the cut parts there. That's a Fiskars punch. The little, um, little bee flower, and that's a Dollar Tree sticker that says forever. And then over here, and the rain, I mean the cloud and the rain droplets are a Martha Stewart punch and that paper comes from the accessory uh, paper um, pad that came along with this 6x6 six six, that all this paper pads and stuff and accessories was, I was blessed to get from um, Yvette the Cods Girl here on the YT so check her out. Um, this sunshine veneer again I got from Tuesday morning Today Rocks is this sticker that comes along with it so that, that heart is another veneer that came in a different veneer package and then some more that we craft bling um these butterfly not butterflies <laughs> birds are martha stewart punch these stars um i punched out with one of my little um tiny micro punches and i forgot what company that is but it's one of those little smaller ones that they had a tuesday morning for 99 cent um and then that sticker right there be creative Dollar Tree and then this um, cloud um, bubble speech bubble thing uh, was part of the ephemera pack and again I used my diamond um, Teresa Collin punch and that's a Fisker's heart punch that came this sticker I mean this tag in the background um, came from the sticker collection with this paper pad laugh Dollar Tree and again I made another one of those little miniature envelopes and I put the word think happy in there this gold uh, punch is a Fiskars this green um, butterfly is Martha Stewart and we got some uh, ribbon not ribbon thread and some bling here gold this is a Martha Stewart flower punch as well and I just layered two pieces and I put a little piece of bling there as well and of course there's a doily in the back and again it's been reinforced and then last but not least um, again that bird is a Martha Stewart and some more gold thread, a doily, that dream, another wood veneer. These are different wood veneers, these different birds that came in a, in a pack together. The birds did with several different shapes and designs. Um, that's Teresa Collins and then this is another, um, I think this is a Marvy punch, that little flower right there. And then I just put some bling on it and that thread. And then over here, that's one of the femur pieces. This is a different Fiskars punch. That's another different Fiskars punch. And this is one of the ephemera. This is one of the stickers. Um, and then the bling and some gold thread. So that's all the different pieces. And I like the little tags. I like um, and making this little variety of just, you know, creating different little scenes and layering it up for each one of them. So this is my second project for the month and you can see I've got some half pieces because I'm not throwing those away. I'm keeping the little half ones because I can always make embellishments and stuff like that so I keep them to the end. But I'm about halfway through which is good because the month is halfway through by the time this video comes up. It'll be the second installment and I just have two more left. So, um, just got to figure out what I'm going to do with the next half of this. So, okay. 
So that is my tag flip, two double sided tag flip. Hopefully you like it. So um, hopefully you'll play along as well and kill some of that paper, demolish it. So um, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. Check out the ladies, and I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.